what else is this? Uh, does anybody have any nicknames here? I, I don't. I've never generated any nicknames. Uh, when I was in high school, I was called... Uh, uh, my nickname was Caffeine, or if I was having a bad day, it was Decaf. Uh, but, like, not in, like, a people call me that. It was, like, sort of, like, a, a couple of my close friends yeah. might call me that if I was, you know, particularly amped up. Mm -hmm. I saw a scintillating thing on the ISO. Oh? That apparently Joe is technically Joe's nickname, and not his true name, as we have been led to believe. Yeah, my, my legal name is Joseph. Uh, but nobody's called me that in literally decades. Ah. Mm. Uh, when I was born, small story if you're interested. Uh, when I was born and my mother was giving the nurse my name, she said Joseph, and the nurse was like, oh, little Joey. And my mother was like, no, Joseph. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, so so cute. Joe is a great name for, for a kid. <laughs> I was like, no, Joseph. <laughs> and the nurse got the clue. Um, mm. But now... 30 years later and if you shout out Joseph in a crowd it doesn't even register as my name. Wow. Mm. It's basically only on you know legal and financial documents that you see my full name. Yeah. That's fair. Mm -hmm. But now we do know your full name which will be excellent for any curses and hexes and spells we need to be <laughs> casting. Uh, one of my favorite naming stories is that um, my, my little brother, I, I might have told this before, my little brother is named Trevor and there's actually two stories related th to this name. One is that my dad really wanted to name one of his kids Jim. He just, he just really, he liked that name, but my mom sort of vetoed it. Right. For, mm. I'm not sure her reasoning, but she, she just, no. Um, that did not stop my dad from just calling Trevor Jim as a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> he just like, that, he just called it, he's like, hey Jim. <laughs> Started. Trevor, to be known as Jim. <laughs> Jimmy boy. The the other thing is that when my parents were picking our names, what they would do is they would put a piece of paper on the fridge, um, and this was back in the 80s, so they would have a column for boys' names, column for girls' names, because they couldn't really tell back then, and then they would just write down any names they thought of, and then the other one would go through and cross off any ones that they don't like. Oh. Mm. And then at the end, whatever was left was their options. Oh, I like that. Um, so... They went through all of that, and for my little brother Trevor, one of the last names that was left was Trevor. And then one of my mom's criteria is that she would usually cross off names of any, any names that were students that she had had issues with because she worked as a teacher. Oh. So it's like, oh, I had a student that had this name, and they caused, I, I have a bad association with that name, so it crossed yeah, it off. That and kid Trevor, was a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and so Trevor was one of the ones that she, she left. It's like, I don't, I don't think I have any issues with that. And then after my brother was born, she was sitting at the window um, holding him and looking outside and saw the kid named Trevor that she had had issues with at school walk past their house. And she's like, ah, oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'd forgotten about that one. <laughs> That's so funny. When I was born, I, I believe I've told this story before don't know don't remember where but when i was born i was the fourth i think new year's baby mm -hmm. of my year no oh, okay. in in small town british columbia mm -hmm. and my dad wanted to name me adam mm -hmm. mm. yep my brother's name is andrew mm -hmm. wanted a's as a, a theme i guess um but then he left the room and my mom was holding me and the press came in because they wanted to report on the New Year's babies mm -hmm. for yep. the new year. It's a nice little story, you know, a fluff piece. And my mom just wrote down Matthew <laughs> at that moment and they left and my dad came back like, it's in print now. Oh. Gonna have to go with Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. Uh, I was almost named Katrina, but my dad was like, that is way too trendy. That's mm. way too cool. It was the 80s. Uh, yep. <laughs> and yeah. uh, and so the, the Kathleen was the negotiation name. Of it. it was similar. My Oh, my mic is rubbing. Probably on my luxurious fur coat. 
Uh, my uh, uh, Kathleen, apparently Kathleen was the compromise name uh, between, uh, you know, Katrina and I don't know, whatever my dad wanted, but it was certainly was not Katrina. Mm, yeah. I've never asked why I'm named Cameron. Probably because it was the least undesirable option. I, I think it was <laughs> like my mother like told me that it was just a um, an uncommon name, mm. but a traditional name. Yeah. Right, it wasn't anything weird, but it was like something they didn't hear very often. And then in my kindergarten class, there were three other Camerons. That happens. Um, one of the most popular girls' names right now is Olivia, mm. for pretty much that exact same reason. Right, It was right. an older name that nobody used anymore and then slowly started to come back. Um, my, my niece is named Olivia. Mm. And mm. so that is... She she got out a few years ahead of it, but now it's like the second or third most popular girl's name in Canada or something like that. Penelope's on a, I believe, is on a similar upswing of popularity. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, mythological, like Greek mythology names are on an upswing right now. Well, there's two reasons why Penelope is named, Pen or there's several reasons. One, because Graham and I both liked it. It was the number one reason. Uh, Two, uh, you know, it was, it's a nice name. It sounds nice. It has good nickname potential. Three, uh, when I was a kid, we had a dog named Penelope, and I always wanted to do the Indiana Jones thing. And we <laughs> named after the dog, because I am a chaos being. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny. But, you know, that she doesn't need to know she's named after a dog. No, you can just tell her she's named after a character from the Odyssey. That's right. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, that's what any... And it, people have met me, they're going to think I'm pretending to be sophisticated and cool. Ah, Penelope. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Penelope is lazy. Well, she's actually not lazy, but she. But her name is quite long. As she reminds mm. me, it has eight letters. It's one of the longest names in her class. So on her schoolwork, she writes Penny. And I was like, would you like to be called Penny? And she's like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, if you write Penny, people are going to call you Penny. And she's like, I'm going to ask them not to. <laughs> oh, strong energy. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. I don't want to write out this entire name, so I'm going to use the acceptable diminutive. But you can't call me that. Yeah. It's a very clever thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I was not named Erica by my parents. Mm. Um But my, my last name is Cole, mm -hmm. um, which was actually originally my middle name. Um, mm -hmm. And this is, I think, the part of my name, if I had originally been born as a girl, uh, my parents were going to name me Nicole. Okay. Oh. Which... Wait, Nicole Cole? No, no, no. That's not my last name. Oh. So that wasn't my, that wasn't my parents' last name. Okay. Um, which, overall, this has worked out well. When I eventually changed my name, I didn't go with Nicole because that's my sister-in-law's name. Oh. Um, so it's like when I was sitting down to change my name, I'm like, I don't want to keep Cole as my middle name, but I don't want to get rid of it because it, it means yeah. something. Right. So I made it my last name. Oh. Okay. Um, what it meant was my... Um, when my dad was young, mm -hmm. his best friend was named Cole. Mm -hmm. um, and Cole uh, died a few years before I was born. Uh, he drowned uh, swimming in the ocean off of Hawaii. Mm. Um, so he, when I came along, he wanted that to be part, right. of, part of my name. So. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maintain the memorial. Exactly. Right. Um, my my pam my family has plans to visit Hawaii, which is my first time I'm ever going to be there, and mm -hmm. I actually want to go and visit that beach. Mm -hmm. So, that's that's my plan for for next year. That's a mm. lovely story. 
Thank you. I'm glad hmm. to hear your parents aren't like completely chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cameron, you're from Prince George, so you might have met this person. Did you ever meet Candy Kane? Yes. Yeah. She was... Yeah, I partied with Candy Kane. Oh, once. <laughs> but yeah, her parents were like, "Our last name is Kane. Of course, we're going to name our daughter Candy. December's going to be the best month of the year." <laughs> she was simul. She was just as chaotic as her mom and what, dad. What was that house on Ruggles? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, <laughs> my brother had a friend whose last name was Shaw, and he always joked he wanted to name his son Rick. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just very quickly, was Candy spelled with an I or a Y? Ah, uh, it was uh, spelled with a K because her parents' last name was spelled with a K. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. It was the 80s, it might be candy. I can't. I don't know if it was an I or a Y. Do you remember? I only ever heard it. Yeah, <laughs> but I know it had a K. Canned. My party's with candy cane. Can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, if I had been assigned male at birth, my dad wanted to name me Richard, mm. which is real cool, uh, except uh, my last name at the time was not Devere. I've told the story before that my uh, my dad got ideas about you know moving up in the world and wanted to, didn't want his kids to go through life with the same last name he had, which was Scales. So he mm. would have named his kid D Dick Scales. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else just start itching? <laughs> I, just, I, <laughs> I feel like I feel like you're not ending up like. <laughs> like already, you've been born under a fortunate star. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you, like you dodged a bullet <laughs> before birth. Yeah, <laughs> you used up ninety percent of your good fortune before you were born. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like it, Dick Scales is like on the opposite end of whatever name power spectrum from max power. Yeah, exactly. right. Which you take, which you got from the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get Dick from Richard? It's a... Oh, that's a quote. I thought it was like, mm. well, I mean, that's a funny thing about names is they're really meaningless. So that's, um, I know the answer to that question. Ah. Uh, there, uh, a lot of those names that sort of like, like Bob for Ro Robert mm -hmm. or um, very complicated, which is Peggy for Margaret. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they're they're rhyming forms of the diminutive. So Dick rhymes with Rick. Right. Bob rhymes with Rob. Right. So you would shorten it and then make a rhyming version of it. Huh. And Margaret was occasionally sh shortened to just like Maggie or Margie or something like that. And then a rhyming version of that was Peggy. Right. Hmm. Yeah. The one that always threw me was Bess from Elizabeth, which I guess is kind of a yeah. similar thing. Mm -hmm. Only you're going with the consonants rather than the um, than the rhyme. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can just never legally call the Queen of England Bessie. I mean, wasn't Elizabeth the first Bess? I have no idea. I'm not at that I thought point she in was. my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. I, she, she, that is the same podcast, but I learned that from the same one she mentioned the other day. 